Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at where you can go in the DKS Cloud software to name your relays, doors, and gates. Let's get started by logging in to the DKS Cloud at access.dorking.com. Now that you are logged into your account, you should see the entry systems you have access to for making changes. Go ahead and select an account that you would like to start naming relays on by clicking the plus sign next to the account folder on the left. With your account folder now open, click on the word System Information to bring up your system settings. Once on the System Information screen, click on the Relays icon in the top toolbar to bring up the Relays pop-up screen. Here on the Relay screen, you will see the three main board relays. If you have tracker boards tied into Relay 2 and or Relay 1, Click on the boxes that say additional relays for tracker 1 and 2 to display all relays. To name a relay, simply click on the relay you want to name, click the backspace key to delete the factory name, and rename it to whatever the relay is connected to. Our relay 1 is connected to the front door. After naming all your relays, be sure to click the save button to save your information to the cloud. Naming your relays will help you on other screens throughout the program, like hold opens. On the hold open screen here, when trying to decide what door to open, there is a key of the relays on the right hand side, so you can choose the correct relay. If using our relay control and status feature, you will also be able to see the relay names as you have labeled them, so that you can easily identify if a door or gate is active or inactive. Security Levels is another place having the relay's name will be helpful. In Security Levels you will find the relay key on the right hand side. This allows you to easily create security levels by knowing what access you are giving to a specific person. Transactions is the last page we will be looking at. And as you can see, by having the relay's name, I can tell the date, time, code, and person that came in the front door. Since Relay 2 is not named, we have no idea where the person entered. So as you can see, naming your relays is important. Naming your relays is something that should be done by the installer. However, if you find that your relays are not labeled, the easiest way to identify doors and gates is to use your card, fob, code, or clicker at the door or gate. I recommend five times in a row. Then come back to the software, receive transactions, and see what shows up in your transactions. If it is an unlabeled relay, you will now be able to label it with the correct name. Congratulations on naming your relays. I hope this makes the software easier to use in the future. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.